Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a toast message using HTML, CSS and also a little bit of JavaScript. So here is the project that we're going to create it. When I click on that, I'm able to see the message has been appeared in the right side. When the time is complete, then message has been removed. So let me tell you how you can get that. So I go to my code editor inside there have a index.html file, style.css and script.js. The all files are included inside my HTML document. Also have a font away some file that help us to display the icon. So let's get started to create that. Toast. And the next one I'm gonna use toast content. And say that I want to add the icon. So class FA, FA solid, FA check. And also I will add another class that will help us to manage it using JavaScript. Right. Then I will create a message div. Inside there I will add the span tag, um, but I will use the text txt class span class will be txt also i will add txt1 because i will manage it using javascript i will display the success and then i'm going to add that another text the first class is same the second class i will change that your data has been set in our database right then we're gonna create a create a what uh, just a minute i'm gonna remove that i'm gonna close that and say that i will use class fa solid i will display the cross icon uh, solid fa x mark and also x mark also i will add the class close then i will add the progress progress div because i want to display the progress bar bottom of the bottom of the page or bottom of the section message section right everything is clear on there the last thing i need to add the button so button type will be button and i want to use primary message right so and let's check it now inside our right so checkbox cross icon message uh, i mean text and have a button right so let's move on the css to design that and the step number one you need to reset the properties margin will be zero and font family i'll box it box sizing border box and font family i will use uh pop pins sand serif right then i went to select the body and i went to display the button and also content in the center of the page then we're gonna move it and the top of the page the right side align item will be center justify on will be center and main height will be 100 vh uh, background I will use light gray and overflow I will use hidden because I don't need to display the scroll bar right perfect then I need to select the toast message so I need to use the position will be absolute because I want to move that in the top of the page so I will use top 25 pixel white white will be uh, 30 pixel border radius will be 10 pixel background i will use white and padding i will use top and 20 pixel 25 pixel 20 pixel and also 25 pixel right and then i will use box shadow hmm, zero five pixel 10 pixel rgb and this is a RGB color, right? And I will use border left, 
6 pixel solid and our color name is F32695 first we're gonna save that and let's check it now right okay and then I will use the transform translate X I will use the calculate function that I help us to calculate the data CLC parentheses and inside there we need to use 100% plus by 30 pixel so and I can't see the just a minute I want to show you the first thing we need to design that so I'll use transition all 0.5s and uh, our flow I will use right in. I think everything is clear on there yes so I will use that and comment that sub and but I will uncomment that because I want to design the few things right the first thing is toast content we need to design that toast content like this one and then the display flex align item will be center justify content will be center height I want to use 35 pixel width will be 35 pixel and I will use background will be hash f3 2695 color will be white font size I want to use the 20 pixel and also I'll use border radius will be 50 percent then I need to use toast content will be dot message I think yes yes this one do so inside there I'll use display flex because I want to display everything in the same line flex direction I want to use column uh, margin I will use 0 and 20 pixel last thing I need to do uh, I think not last thing but I will use a lot of things message.txt font size I will use 20 RAM uh, 20 pixel font size uh, font weight 400 and color will be okay I think uh, that's not good but where is mystic right now so I'd wait 35 pixel just a minute I'm gonna check that where is the mistake uh, toast content right now just a minute I need to get that and this is a uh, oh, uh, this one and we need to select the check where is a check like this one so right so and let's perfect cool and dot txt and then we're gonna select that use txt one and the text one will be font red 600 color will be 333 then also we need to select text dot close position will be absolute top will be 10 pixel and right will be 15 pixel padding 5 pixel cursor will be pointer opacity I will use 0 0.7 when I hover the mouse on the close button then I will use opacity will be 1 so let's check it now right now as you can see guys perfect and uh, we need to set up our progress bar so I need to use toast that progress position will be absolute and then I need to use bottom will be zero left will be zero and height will be three pixel right will be 100% background will be 
DDD and then I need to select the same thing but this time I'm going to use pseudo selector will be default content will be null because I want to display the line absolute bottom zero left not right zero and height will be 100 percent our width will be 100 percent and background will be hash e363 and 96 okay everything is clear perfect and what is the next thing we need to do uh, we need to set up the button first we need to set up the button so i'm going to use padding 10 pixel and 20 pixel font size i will use uh, 20 pixel outline will be none and border will be none and background i will use hash uh, like this one Our color will be white and then border Radius will be 0 0.3 gram is best for that. Cursor pointer transition all 0 0.3 s s and out and margin top and bottom will be 0 left and right 2 gram. Last thing I need to add that will be hover effect. Uh, background I will use that will be hash f32699. So uh, let's check it now right okay nine six this is a dark color okay let's move on the js to display hide that so but before using js so we need to use this one because i don't need to display that in the starting time when I will use JavaScript, then we're gonna display that, right? And yeah, perfect. So first we're gonna check that, yes. So inside the JS, you need to get the data. So let's const btn element document dot query selector. We need to select the button tag. The next one, you need to select the toast element document the queue selector and you need to select the toast class let me show you like this one const close element document dot queue selector and then we need to select the close class like this one where it is like this one and last thing i need to do progress pro element i will use that in short so we need to select the progress uh like this one class perfect once we done that then when i click the button then i want to add the class and display the message so let's see i need to select the btn element that add mls now which event you will use click event then run the function and inside there i will use console.log because i just need to check that it's working or not then we're gonna move on the next section so click on that perfect it's working right now so i need to do use toast element dot class list dot add active when user will click on that then i want to display the add the class inside my element which element are like there so first we're gonna click on that as you can see toast active class has been appeared inside my main toast section right so we're gonna use that to display the message right so let's see first we're gonna save that and go to the style.css in the style.css uh, you need to select the toast dot active class and you need to use 
transform translate x 0%. First, we're going to save that now. Let's check it now. First, we're going to refresh that. Click on that, as you can see. Click on that, right? Perfect. And the next one, I think we need to select my progress bar pro element dot class list dot add and I will use the same class inside my progress dev. Let me show it you. So where it is here. So when I click on that, as you can see progress and after the progress have active class has been appeared inside this one section. So we're going to use same thing to design that. Right. So in the progress active class, Mm -hmm. progress where it is my progress has the progress progress and we need to select toast not toast uh, yes toast that progress just a minute I just need to target my progress dot active class when the class is active we need to use pseudo selector and we need to use animation write the animation name the seconds liner forwards so once we've done that then we need to target my this one animation inside keyframe keyframe target the name of the animation like progress and use right side will be 100% right 100% right will be 100. but I need to change the right side I think uh, yes I think it should be displayed perfectly. So let's check it now. Uh, just a minute. Click on that as you can see. Once the time period is closed, I'll complete. Then I need to remove the message, right? Also, I will use the what set timeout timeout function that will help us to remove the progress bar toast element dot class list dot remove which class active class when the time period is complete right okay I think use that and use comma time period will be 500 5000 means 5 seconds so uh, let's check it now click on that and yes perfect and also I will add the another feature with close the toast message when the user will click on the close element so I need to use add event listener on the close icon and inside there I need to use toast element dot class list dot remove uh, active so and let's check it now one more time I click on that perfect click that click that so it's a simple toast message using HTML CSS and JavaScript so thank you very much for watching have a nice day